Ain't that right? Most stable scenario would be if there was more than one extra planet. That's an interesting sentence. They're separated. They're, they're not as deadly as one giant planet. They're, they're not as climate changing as one giant planet, I guess. Known unknowns. Or new planets in our solar system. Or the hunt for the unknown planet. Excuse me, ma'am. Would you like to have a significant gravitational interaction with me? Well, then come on and let's go as I do some badass planetary X science. This shit is legit. Okay, sometimes I act dumb. You need to be warned. I'm Thor of Thor News, and sometimes I act dumb. Sometimes it's funny. Sometimes it is not. What's this? What is it, Doctor? I don't know. My friend, we cannot keep this a secret any longer. The solar system possesses an additional ninth planet. To what? Where? There's a real planet out there still to be found. Hi, I'm Jim Green, Director of Planetary Science at NASA. If Planet X is out there, we'll find it together. And that's the thing that I get most excited about when coming to work. This is the most fantastic story I've ever heard. Stay cool. See if they're ready. Are you ready to fire? Go! No, let it go. Hit the button, baby. Planet X is one of the subjects I mastered before I became obsessed with weather. It's true. We got two new Planet X's, y'all. Planet Goblin and Planet Far Out. And I want to remind you, Pluto's Planet 9, Eris is Planet 10, so Planet 9 is Planet 11. That's Thor News numerical arrangement. We were talking about Planet X, and apparently there's so many Planet X's being found these days, I can't even keep up with them. Well, that's due partially because the weather has been so wild. Is there a correlation? Probably. All right. Here we are. Terrible weather. There's something out there. Hit the button, baby. Stay cool. I don't know if you know this. Thor News is for winners, and that's why you're here. So stick around. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents Party Dance Time. How do you get to Carnegie Hall? Practice. How do you get to Carnegie Science? Go to their website. You are exploring a new extremely distant solar system object found during Hunt for Planet X. October 2nd, 2018, Washington, D.C. Carnegie's Scott Shepard and his colleagues, Northern Arizona University's Chad Trujillo, who are both Asteroid Fight Club All-Stars. Without their wonderful work and research, we would have not kicked off this hunt for the Red October. Yeah, Planet Nine. And the University of Hawaii's David Tholen, who Tholens are named after, are once again redefining our solar system's edge. They discovered a new, extremely distant object far beyond Pluto with an orbit that supports the presence of an even farther out super Earth or larger Planet X. Remember, NASA is talking about Planet X, Carnegie Science is talking about Planet X, professional astronomers are talking about Planet X, Planet X pretty much means any object that is out beyond Pluto. New study shows that these dwarf planets would not be as stable as thought. Interesting. Doesn't seem like anything in the solar system is as stable as it once was. Maybe we should restore a little bit of balance. How does that sound and feel to you? Most stable scenario would be if there were more than one extra planet. What is a planet? One of the definitions of a planet is that it has to clear its own orbit. My question is this. If Earth has cleared its orbit, why do we worry about asteroids hitting us? All right, all right, we're over the Earth sky, we're talking about how astronomers spy the most distant solar system object yet. This is brought to us by Deborah Bird. She's in space. True story. This came out December 17, 2018. It is more than 100 times Earth's distance from our sun, and it takes a thousand Earthly years to orbit the sun once. Astronomers, but they nicknamed it Far Out. Man, they're finding so many Planet X's, it's hard to even keep count. I don't even know what number we're on anymore, man. Where was I? The so-called inner Oort cloud objects like the Goblin, Biden, and Sedna are isolated from most of the solar system's known mass, which makes them immensely interesting. 
just like me and you. Scott Shepard explained, they can be used as probes. Oh no, up your butt, Joe Boo. They can be used as probes to understand what is happening to the edge of our solar system, to our weather, and our planet. Wait, I added that for dramatic effect. In your face? Did you like that? We think that there could be thousands of small bodies, like 2015 the Goblin, out on the solar system's fringes. You know, if those dwarf planets were bedazzled, they'd be much easier to see. Sometimes called Fatty. Sometimes called Planet X. Sometimes called Planet Nine. Sometimes called Nibiru. Sometimes called Herculubus. Sometimes called Tiamat. Sometimes called Nemesis. Sometimes called Up Your Butt, Joe Boo. All right. But their distance makes finding them very difficult, Dolan said. 40,000 year orbit? You would be too faint to see. That is a hell of an orbit, bro. That is a hell of an orbit. You know how long it takes Earth to orbit the sun? One year. If you knew that, you get a gold star. The object was discovered as part of the team's ongoing hunt for unknown dwarf planets and planet X. It is the largest and deepest survey ever conducted from distant solar system objects. These distant objects are like breadcrumbs leading us to Planet X, and Planet X is, is the breadcrumb eater, like your mom. The more we can find, the better we can understand the outer solar system, and the possible planet that we think is shaping their orbits. A discovery that would redefine our knowledge of the solar system's evolution, Shepard added. This is to be continued, so stay tuned, man. Crazy, Planet X's are everywhere. Planet X's are everywhere. I don't even know how to number them anymore. I'll work on that later. Okay, I depend and survive on your contributions and donations to keep bringing you this awesome, super professional, super entertaining science. And so, through your donations to my PayPal link and your prayers that I will make it, I've survived doing it this way for about the last three years. Please do what you can to help out. And if you can't, if you ain't got any spare cash, please say a prayer. I'm gonna need all the help I can get this month because every year, the better I get, the more they attack me. Okay, everybody stay cool. I love you. Yes, I do. Did you have fun? Me too. All right. High five over the internet. Boom. God bless everyone. Stay cool. Alien planet. That sounds cool. Ladies and gentlemen, this Planet X story is crazier than I am. So stay tuned, because who knows what we might find.